I started off um, character building by reading Katana's comic and getting to know who she was and where she came from and her background and everything. Um, but it all really came into reality and I felt good about it once I started the physical process of becoming Katana because so much of her character comes from, you know, her martial arts background and her, you know, uh, Katana skills and all of that. So uh, it helped a lot to go through the fitness training um, during pre-production. Uh, we went through one hour of uh, fitness training and then a couple hours of, for me, um, uh, sword fighting training and then um, more with martial arts. So, uh, you know, physically looking like the character helped, but also being able to do all of, all of the moves and uh, go through all of the action on my own, um, really, f it, that's when it felt like I was truly becoming Katana. Personally, I really, really love the fact that Katana is a strong female character that um, doesn't need saving. She's the one protecting. And so I would really love, um, I would really love it if young girls out there could uh, look up to a character like her and, um, you know, be inspired by how strong she is and how independent she is. Harley Quinn is such a lovable character. She has, she is bubbly. She is spunky, um, and Margot just brought this side to her where she's, you know, she's also a psychopath. She's crazy, um, and she has so much energy. And she's bubbly, and she's lovely, and you love her, but she's so scary at times. Hey guys, did you know that Pierce Brosnan was contractually forbidden from wearing a full tuxedo in any non-James Bond movie from 1995 to 2002? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. But if you want something else, click on the playlist.